This changes everything as the Dallas Mavericks defeat the San Antonio Spurs in opening night of the season, 120 to 109, in a game that looked Horrible in the first half as we go into the halftime down by two sloppy offense, but the defense is really what held us in. No one could really get a shot off except for a few players, but come that third quarter, the Dallas Mavericks came out of halftime, lighting it up, dropping 40 points in the third quarter alone, and going into the fourth quarter, dropping an extra 30 points on the Spurs. In this video, we're going to take a look at who looked the best, who really impressed everybody, and what can the Dallas Mavericks do to continue this success, and what can they do? do to fix some of the deficiencies but how's it going everybody my name is marcel martin this is mavericks digest bringing you the latest news on everything mavericks related and before we get started with today's recap we're currently sitting at 13,795 subscribers. We are gaining more subs by the day, getting very close to that goal of 15,000 subs. But if you want to be up to date on everything Mavericks related, the live streams, the watch longs, the post games vids just like this, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on a single thing that we do. And as you can probably already tell, I'm almost losing my voice as the game was amazing. In the first half, it was kind of boring it was a lot of sloppy play but the defense was solid from everybody that touched the court from clay thompson to even luka Doncic, who in the first half really couldn't get a shot going he shot about four of five of 14 in the first half alone the shot just wasn't going for luka and obviously he hasn't played since the olympics he didn't play in preseason was dealing with the calf strain so Luka got a pass because he did actually put an effort on defense with good passing. It was able to help the team in many ways to keep the game close in halftime. But come that second half, the Dallas Mavericks just opened the floodgates. The threes were falling like crazy. Klay Thompson looked like prime Klay Thompson going 6 of 10 from 3. Daniel Gafford and Derek Lively both own Victor Webinyama to the point where is he really a number one pick? Is he really a generational talent? As the Dallas Mavericks made the Spurs look foolish look like a team that still belongs in the lottery but let's go ahead and look at the box score all right for your Dallas Mavericks because we don't need to look at the Spurs but for the Dallas Mavericks we got PJ Washington he put up 11 points had one steal two assists six rebounds two of seven from three and four eleven from the floor had a very quiet 11 points wasn't doing too much but still able to contribute to the team's win and Daniel Gafford the landlord in 19 minutes had nine points had one block one steal two assists six rebounds was three of four from the free throw line and three of six from the floor sharing that that center position with Derek Lively as he was our starter tonight with 19 minutes and then Kyrie Irving had 15 points one block two steals two assists three rebounds shot three of seven from three and six of seven of uh, six and 17 from the floor was doing everything to keep the game together keep the team locked in was really the glue guy for tonight with great defense by the way Kyrie Irving was playing amazing on ball defense whoever said that the Dallas Mavericks were going to miss Derrick Jones Jr.'s point of attack defense obviously did not understand that this team is bought in and they're ready to win a championship to the point where even Luka Doncic was playing amazing Amazing defense throughout the entire game, even if his shot was or wasn't falling. And speaking of Luka Doncic, Luka Doncic, and I'm going to look at his shooting right there, 9 of 25. Like I said in the first half, the shot was not falling. But come that second half, a completely different story. He finished the game with 28 points, 1 block, 1 steal, 8 assists, 10 rebounds, almost a triple-double for the night. He shot 4-11 from 3 and 9 of 25 from the field. Again, first half was just getting the rust off, just trying to find his rhythm, trying to figure out how the game was going to go. But after halftime, Luka Doncic just lit it up from, from 3 from the floor, playing defense, going to the free throw line. There was also this weird moment late in the third quarter because we got into the bonus for fourth teams. I'm sorry, we got into to the bonus for both teams very early and it was just a free throw fest but Luka was able to still be Luka Doncic he's going to be okay and Klay Thompson let's let's talk about Klay Thompson Klay Thompson in his debut as a Dallas Maverick already broke a record Klay Thompson shot six of ten from three breaking the franchise record for most threes for Dallas Maverick in their opening night as a Dallas Maverick shout out to Klay Thompson because somebody told me he was washed somebody told me he can't play defense and that we overpaid we made a whole Horrible, horrible decision. Klay Thompson heard all the rumors. Klay Thompson heard all the rumblings. Klay Thompson saw all the videos that all these other YouTubers wanted to put out saying that he's a bricklayer, that he's washed, that he is going to ruin this team. He came out tonight, put the league on notice that he's back, that he is still that guy, that he's going to help the Dallas Mavericks win a championship. And if we look at his box score, he finished the night with 22 points. He, he 
honestly could have had more than Luka, which is insane to think that when Luka Doncic plays, is he ever not the leading scorer? Can Klay Thompson finish a game with more points than Luka? Who knows? The team is just that deep. But Luka, I'm sorry, but Klay Thompson finished the game with 22 points, had three steals. Talk about defense, right? Had seven rebounds, one assist, shot six of 10 from the three-point line, two of two from the free throw line, was seven to 13 from the field. He was great through the entirety of the game. And if we look at the guys from the bench, Maxi Kleba, Maxi Kleba, Maxi Kleba, Maxi Kleba. We got to put respect on Maxi's name. I will be the first to apologize for any slander I had towards this man over the summer or even in the playoffs because he came out tonight looking like a real German Shepherd, a real dog, playing great defense, positioning himself in the right place to get rebounds, great passing, doing all the small things that you need from somebody. So even though his box score, I'm sorry, even though his entire box score really doesn't give you an idea of a great role player, Look at that box plus minus as he had the highest box plus minus of the team with a plus 18. He finished the game with three points. He did hit an open three. Thank you, Maxi. I appreciate it. He also had one block, one assist, and four rebounds, shooting one of one from three and one of three from the field. Oh, Max, he got about two minutes in garbage time. Najee Marshall and Quentin Grimes. I'm going to speak on both of those together real quick as they looked a little bit rusty, really didn't do anything for the box score. They struggled to score, but they were able to make up for it in other things as looking at Quentin Grimes. He was a plus 11, playing great defense. He was able to facilitate. He was able to bring the ball down, and he was able to do, like I said in my other video, a lot of the small things to help us win this game and I feel like it will take a while for Najee Marshall and Quentin Grimes to really get into their rhythm and find their spot in the team I'm not worried about them they're new they get a pass for the meantime right but going down the box score as well Dwight Powell in garbage time was 100% from the field one of one that's what you need from your vet like Dwight Powell that's why he's still on his team and Derek Lively Derek Lively off the bench in 28 minutes, gave you 15 points, gave you one steal, six, six, I'm sorry, is that six or is that eight? Five assists? Five assists. Derek Lively had five assists as our big man, had 11 rebounds, seven defensive and four offensive rebounds, shot three of five from the free throw line with six of eight from the field. Derek Lively is taking that second year leap and it looks amazing. We're really just not going to know who's going to be our starting center most nights, whether it's Dan Derek Lively or Daniel Gafford. Who deserves it? It, it it's really a toss up and that's amazing to know that we have two centers that are equally fighting for that starting starting position and that either or could really fill that role and continuing with the box score Spencer Dinwiddie wasn't really our third ball handler wasn't that guard off the bench that we went to as he only played three minutes in garbage time but who was that third ball handler off the bench it was Jaden Hardy putting on a little hardy party of himself who just signed his extension, his rookie extension with the team, who the other day just said he has aspirations of being that sixth man for the Dallas Mavericks. And after tonight, if he can keep this up, I believe in Hardy Party. Jaden Hardy, in 20 minutes of action, put up 11 points off the bench, had one block, had two assists, and shot three of five from three, was lighting it up from the field, three of six from the field as well. Jaden Hardy was amazing, had great not great. I'll say average defense. Again, still working on not fouling too much, but he was still able to be effective on defense. He shot the ball very well. He was a flamethrower out there, caught heat, and kept it going. But what I was most impressed by when it came to Jane Hardy was the passing. We talk about it a lot. His decision-making and his passing was the one thing that really separated himself from being just a scorer versus a ball handler. But tonight, everything changed. He was no look passing to Derek Lively, passing it to Clay, facilitating everywhere. In 20 minutes off the bench, Jaden Hardy was amazing for us. He is, in my opinion, if we're going to make a way too early prediction, Jaden Hardy as our sixth man, as our third ball handler, give it to me for the next 81 games. If he's going to look like this, I'm definitely going to need it. But as always, we got to talk about who was actually standing on business tonight. And it's a tough one because I wasn't sure if you give it to Luca, you give it to Jaden Hardy, but it's gotta go to Clay Thompson. A lot of these get a lot of these guys stood on business. They all they all played very well in their opening game, but I gotta give it to Clay Thompson. Coming out tonight, shooting six of ten from three, playing great defense, by the way, shutting down all the haters, putting all all of what the naysayers are saying about him, putting it all to rest, showing everybody and the Dallas Mavericks fans that were watching that he is determined and he is bought in like everybody else to help us win a championship not just for himself but for Dallas and after the game he said himself he said I look good in blue 
man, get this man a statue. Put his jersey in the rafters. I see it already. The three years of this contract is going to be amazing with Klay Thompson on his team. We still have that window with him before we really see any decline. And I'm a, and if we can just have this night, I don't think he's going to shoot 6 of 10 every night. I don't think he's going to finish the season shooting 60% from three. But if we can get this same production consistently, I love it. But a few other things that we definitely want to highlight. Like I said, Clay Thompson, the man who stood on business, put up 22 points, seven rebounds, three steals, talk about defense, and six made threes while shooting 54% from the field. And some other honorable mentions for who really stood on business. Got to go to Derek Live, who put up a double-double tonight off the bench. 15 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists as a big man. While shooting 75% from the floor, outplayed Victor Wibanyama yet again. San Antonio can have Victor. San Antonio can have the French baguette, Victor Wibanyama, the rookie of the year. That's cool. We got Derek Lively. Something a little bit better. San Antonio, you don't know nothing about that. But another person that I got to mention as an honorable mention is Jaden Hardy. Shout out to Kid Muse who tweeted this out. Has Hardy outplayed his contract already? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Did Jaden Hardy already outplay his contract? Do you have high aspirations for Jaden Hardy like I do? Or should we just slow it down, give it a few more games? It's just one game. We don't want to overreact. But speaking of it's just one game, we don't want to overreact. We got to keep this in mind that it's going to be a long season. The first half of this game was sloppy. Our offense looked just like how it looked like in the finals. But our defense somehow looked even better as that's what kept us in this game. There's going to be ups. There's going to be downs. There's going to be injuries. There's going to be moments where we're fire. We're electric. Where the second half of this game is going to be exactly what we look like for the majority of some games. But just like the first half of this game may be the majority of some of our games. We got to hang tight. It's a long season. If we get a win, cool. Celebrate it, but move on to the next one. But if we lose, don't hang up on it too much. Learn from it. Stick with this team. Keep rooting and supporting this team and get ready for the next game. We are 1-0 on the road to 82-0. High aspirations, I know. But this Saturday, we will be going live for the game against the uh, Phoenix Suns. That will be a test for us. The Spurs, a nice little opener, but the Phoenix Suns on Saturday will definitely be a test. Make sure you're there, and I'm definitely going to be there going live. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for making us far to the video. Thank you for everybody that came out to the live stream. It was amazing. Make sure you subscribe so you're always there for everything that we're doing here. If you want to be in for our giveaways that we do every month, make sure you become a channel member of any tier. Check out our socials. Links in the description below. Until next time, y'all take care. Drink water. Peace.